Wakey, 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 sleepyhead. Good morning, top of the sun, <clears throat> grand rising. How are you this morning? You get enough rest? Did you beat the sun? <laughs> are you getting an extra few minutes of sleep on this Saturday morning? Yes, I wish I could get an extra few minutes or hours of sleep. I might take a nap later on, but I got too much to do. It's always something to do. Catch. It's always something. <laughs> but yeah, how you guys doing? Yes. Um, I just wanted to put this out there. I've decided to uh, buy somebody something yesterday, and um, I spent like I went into this chocolatier store. And um, I was looking for this gourmet, um, gourmet Rice Krispies. You just know they do the turtle Rice Krispie treats and whatnot. And so I went in there buying them for somebody else. Kind of wanted one low key, but mainly I was thinking about somebody else. And child, I was out and about yesterday. And when I delivered what I brought for the person, she was like, "You know, you didn't get what you paid for. You brought rice crispy, what you brought rice crispy treats. You paid for them, but they gave you something totally different." I said, "Wait a minute, what?" Now, when I checked the bag, it looked like what I paid for. Nope, she bit into one, and they gave her marshmallows. I didn't pay twenty dollars for no damn marshmallow. Why do I have marshmallows in this bag and I ask for Rice Krispie Treats? You don't know the difference between a Rice Krispie Treat and a marshmallow? Don't get me wrong. That marshmallows are okay, but I didn't pay $20 for no marshmallows. Mm -mm. Nope, I didn't do it. I did not do that for that. I was so aggravated yesterday. Like, ugh. Oh my goodness, I want to do something nice. And I want to surprise her. And they messed up my... That's okay. I'm waiting till they open so I can tell them how I feel. That didn't sit well with me. Yep, I could easily let it slide. No, I can't. I have to call and I got to tell them how I feel. They can't be making those type of mistakes because what if somebody put in a $50 order? You mean to tell me your employees don't know the difference between the marshmallow and the Rice Krispie Treat? That is not okay. Get that together. Huh. Anyway, which brings us <laughs> to our topic of the day. Welcome to Vlogtober, day 19. And today's topic is, should you be cautious of your weight? Now, you're saying, Leah, <laughs> Lily, you know... Doggone well, you should be cautious of your weight. That was a rhetorical question. I'm not talking about it from that point of view. Everybody should be watching their weight, you know, and being healthy. From that standpoint, you know, of course, because you want to be on this playing field a little longer. You know, you want to live your full lives and, you know, your full years. I'm talking about vanity, dating. The other aspects of stressing, worrying, I'm talking about those aspects of the topic. Like, um, vanity, um, you worried about, you know, and it's everybody do it. I'm guilty of it. But is it healthy to be like that? Like, oh my goodness, I'm going to lose weight. You are the weight you are right now for a reason. Okay? Everybody's not meant to be a negative 15. Everybody's not meant to be 200, 100, 300. And it's a variety out here. Everybody's not meant to be a standard weight, as they say. You know, you are the weight you are supposed to be. Now, you, if you could stand to lose a few pounds, okay. If you could stand to gain a few pounds, okay. But ain't nobody finna sit up and stress about it. Like, that's whack, as I don't know what. To be stressing about something you cannot control like that. You know? Because if you could, you would. Now, over time, if you put enough work into it, you will see results. But that takes time. That takes work. That, that, that takes dedication. You do not see fast results. That's like a lifetime routine. You know? Skip dieting. 
because diets don't work. It's the lifestyle that you live that you will see the results you want and stuff like that. You know, and people just be sitting there worried about like over their shoulder. Like if I want a slice of pizza or a piece of chocolate or a cheesecake or a cupcake, I should be able to have that without the next individual. Oh, you think you can have... You over my shoulder, I'm going to eat what I want to eat. I said what I said, and I'm going to eat what I eat, okay? Without you looking over my shoulder, without me looking over my own shoulder, I'm going to enjoy this. We came here to enjoy. We only get one life to live. You don't even know if we're going to be here in the next incarnation. We incarnated in the next lifetime. So while you're here now, enjoy it while you can. Now, I ain't saying, you know, be just a bomb and not care. If you are healthy, your heart is beating at a regular beat. You don't have high cholesterol, high blood pressure. You can get up and down off the couch without assistance. You can get in and out the bed without assistance. You can get up and down on the floor without assistance. You good, okay? You'll be surprised how many people sit down and need assistance to get back up again. You don't want to be in that, con in that condition at all. If you can run with somebody chasing you, you good, all right? <laughs> Those are the basic things. If you could do that at your weight, you good. Not sitting back stressing about, oh, I need to lose. I need to gain. Girl, goodbye. There's other things we need to be thinking about other than that. These kids, how these parents do these kids. If your baby want an extra serving, why would you deny them that or talk about them because they want an extra piece of serving of something? These kids do a lot. Some of y'all kids wake up at 4 in the morning and don't make it back in the house until 5 p.m. They're out and about all day in the classroom extracurricular activities. Hell, some of y'all don't even make it back until 9 p.m. You kidding me? These kids want an extra something, you better give it to them. They running, that's how they get their energy. They need that, especially if you want them to be gone all day and night. They need to replace that, and they need to fuel all of that, okay? I can't stand when um, some of these parents be talking about their kids like, Oh, but she want an extra. She eating too much. How is the baby eating too much? Now, I ain't saying overeat. I'm not saying that. That's really not healthy. Nobody should be overeating. That can make you very sick. But if you require a little bit more, that should be all right. But that should be just fine. And you shouldn't get on the phone talking to your neighbor, your best friend, the lady down the street about why your child asking for seconds. I really don't like that. Or making comments where the baby can hear you. Oh, she fat. Oh, this and that and the third. Oh, she always wants seconds. You're damn right because she gone and up and out and about all day. Let me tell you about these school lunches. School lunches have changed. Like I And I learned this with my niece the other day. Or last weekend, my sister gave my niece some lunch money. And she was like, okay, now I'm giving you this set amount. You be cautious. You can bag a lunch and use this amount per day for snacks. Or you can have a whole hot lunch. But you only have this amount per day. Be cautious of what you're spending. When we was breaking down the lunches now, these kids only get a... Like, I'm going to use a hamburger, for example. If it's hamburger day, you only get that hamburger and a side of vegetables or fruit. And that costs two fifty Because they consider the burger, the bread, carbs, the burger protein, and whatever else. What is it? You get a tomato, a lettuce. Okay. That's a part of the vegetables with the side of vegetables that you get. Or the fruit that you choose to get. So you can have double servings of vegetables, or you can have your vegetable on that burger, and your fruit. That's all the fruit, the food groups right there. When we, when I was in school, you got a tray full of stuff. You got the snack, you got your main course, you got your milk, you got a fruit, vegetable, 
a snack. I said a snack already. That tray was full. What the hell happened? And we in school for 10 hours a day. Why did they cut back on the school lunches like that? Oh, I forgot. She said because Michelle Obama changed something. when I thought she only did that for McDonald's, like the fast food places, like made the fries smaller for the kids or whatever. I didn't know she was in the schoolhouse doing that, you know? And these are high schoolers. These is not first graders in middle school. My niece is in high school. She's in gym class. She's active. They doing a lot, you know? She's in, sitting up in a chair using her brain all day. What is a hamburger and a piece of fruit going to do? Hell, she might as well bag her own lunch and take it to school. <laughs> You know, these kids need to be fed. Why are everybody trying to cut their food down? It's all right. And then if you in shape, like my niece is very much in shape. But these kids be hungry. And nobody needs to talk about them if they want an extra piece of something. Now, moving on to the next aspect. Dating. Some of y'all will pass up your whole life partner because they got an extra few pounds. How, Sway? How? Okay? You are not your weight. You are not your hair. You are not your teeth. You are not your skin color. You are what lives within. <laughs> you know? So, most people be like, well, I can't do a big girl. But be the main ones in the inbox begging to eat the booty with the straw. Now, you home, you going to have to explain that to me. How you speaking and spraying in the universe that you don't like this, yet you contradict yourself and be in the inbox begging at 3 in the morning. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. <laughs> you know? And I always used to say, I said, well, I don't want nobody who sticks and skin. I don't want nobody too skinny. I want somebody when I cut them, I can hold on to them. You know? They can keep me warm and things like that. You know, a good cuddler, you know. But you get what you get. You know, we all got our preferences, but some of y'all could be assholes, and then you wonder why your life is so full with hell and hot water because you chose that girl with the biggest, fakest booty, but when you look to your right, because she had an extra few pounds, you passed her up, but that was the one for you. But you passed her up. Or him. Because he had an extra few pounds. That was that was the one who was going to take care of you. And make sure you had everything your heart desired. Yet you wanted this man with the six pack. Who's cheating on you every weekend. And I oop. <laughs> and I oop. You passed up your life partner. For some BS. Standards. Mm, it must be nice. Yeah, it must be nice. But as long as you're healthy, you know, as long as you're healthy and got it going on, you don't need assistance. Your heart weight is beating at a regular, you know, pace. You ain't got high blood pressure. You not breathing extra hard, humped over, out of breath every two steps. Come on. Treat yourself. You all right. It's okay. It's not that big of a deal. You know, we shouldn't be stressing about that. Don't be hard on these kids. You know, kids are here to enjoy. You know, they got enough to worry about when they reach of age. Okay, let these babies enjoy their childhood. Don't be so hard. Don't talk about them. Don't talk about yourself. It's okay. If it was meant for you to be it right this second at this moment, you will be it. That's how you look at it. Buy some clothes that fit. Okay? If you got an extra few pounds, buy a few shirts that's going to cover it up and you still look good in it. That's it. It ain't that big of a deal. Stop trying to fit in the juniors when you in the adult section. Like, that's tacky. Like, buy the clothes that's going to fit your butt and you still look good. That goes for men and women. Like, y'all buy these two little shirts, and I got to see your stomach, some of your back fat. I got to see it all. Buy clothes that fit you the proper way, and you still look good in it. Okay? Whew. I'm not going to keep y'all long. I'm trying to figure out that I touch on every 
thing. Yeah, because if I want it, I'm going to get it. I'm not going to stress about what I eat on a daily basis. I'm going to be cautious of that. You know, but as far as everything else go, I'm going to enjoy. And so should you. I'm not going to keep you long. You guys have a good weekend. Comment below and let me know what y'all think of this topic. I had to record this twice because my storage was full. I was so upset. Because the first go, I was going. And I don't even think... I'm so irritated. Anyway, y'all put a smile on somebody's face. Spend some time with your husband, your wife, your mistress, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your kids. Take them out somewhere. Help a stranger out. Dig in them pockets. You got it. You're blessed. You got it. It's okay. Enjoy y'all weekend. Um, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.